You guys, welcome back. Another round of heavy rain means comfort food. Today I'll be making Saku Saikai, a glutinous dumpling filled with a sweet and nutty chicken filling. Let's get started. We'll need some crispy fried garlic and garlic oil. On a medium-low heat, fry some smashed garlic until golden. Keep an eye on it and stir occasionally to prevent burning. We'll set this aside. For the filling, let's make a simple herb paste. On medium-high heat, in goes some oil. The herb paste, shallots, fry until fragrant, ground chicken, ground pork also works, sweet radish, make sure it's not the salty one. Let's set this aside. And in goes the palm sugar on medium heat. This is a sweet filling, but the sugar also acts as a binding agent to keep the filling together when rolled into balls. The rest of the cooked filling goes back in. Dark soy sauce, the sweet kind, fish sauce, and grounded peanuts for nuttiness. Cook until there is no liquid pooling and the filling is a bit sticky. Let this cool down completely. The filling has cooled down completely and it's time to roll them into little balls like this. The gloves make the job easier. Use your choice of tapioca pearls. This is the only one I had available. Soak in enough cold water for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, strain the pearls and allow them to dry. It will make wrapping the dumplings much easier if they're drier. The pearls don't have to be completely dry, but they've dried quite a bit. We can begin making the dumplings. Make a layer of tapioca pearl in one palm and pat it down lightly like this. Take a filling ball and place it into the center. Lightly mold the tapioca pearls around the filling. The thinner the layer of pearls, the tastier the dumpling.
You can move the pearls around to cover the filling like this. It's easy to patch up any gaps or holes with a bit more tapioca pearls. Line a steamer with banana leaves or parchment paper. Poke a few holes to allow the steam to come through. On goes the tapioca dumplings. Steam for 15 minutes. After about 15 minutes, they will look like this. The tapioca pearls have become translucent. Coat them with the garlic oil we made earlier. They are super sticky and this will not only add a nice flavor and aroma, it will prevent them from sticking to each other. Serve with lettuce, cilantro, and red chilies. The savoriness of the crispy garlic is so good. And fried dried red chilies. Here you have it, Saku Sekai. You got the soft and glutinous texture of the tapioca with the sweet and nutty filling of the chicken filling. You can eat it just like this. Or you can make a lettuce wrap, just like this. I hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and leave me a comment below. I'll see you all in the next video. Be safe everyone.